are tracking that breaking news on the bridge breakdown. That's right. Target 12 has obtained a draft report to state officials from an engineering firm that recommends either major repairs or a full replacement of the Washington Bridge. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story this afternoon live on air here on WPRI 12 and is here now with what he's learned. Tim. Kim and Kayla, VN Engineer Incorporated is warning state officials that the structural damage to the Washington Bridge is so significant, it's at risk of a total collapse. In the two months since the abrupt closure of the Washington Bridge, teams of engineers have been combing over the structure to assess its condition. Now a draft report from one of those firms obtained by Target 12, dated Wednesday, is giving state officials a stark assessment, writing the repairs and strengthening required to address the documented deterioration and deficiencies along the structure are significant, have limited viability, and have significant risk associated with them. They go on to write, to fully eliminate these risks and improve improve inspection, maintenance, and repair access would require the demolition and replacement of the superstructure and potentially a full bridge replacement. The report includes inspection images showing cracks on beams, significant erosion, and other damage throughout. On Wednesday, Governor Dan McKee and RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi announced they plan to add an additional lane in either direction on the eastbound bridge, a totally separate structure, to increase traffic capacity. We should uh, be able to do this work and complete uh, the work so that we can open the six lanes to traffic. We're looking preliminarily at an eight-week time frame to do this in. Thursday afternoon, a spokesperson for McKee told Target 12, Governor McKee and Director Alvidi have repeatedly stated that no decision concerning the Washington Bridge would be made until all final reports were received and evaluated. VN is one of seven engineering firms that are currently assessing the Washington Bridge. One section of the report warns of the potential for pieces of the westbound bridge to collapse onto Gano Street or into the river, destabilizing the eastbound bridge. I will have more from that coming up in my report at 5. And Tim, as you pointed out, this is not the only engineering firm no. doing an examination of the bridge. So uh, what happens from here? Well, it's not the only engineering firm. As a matter of fact, different engineering firms have different expertise. For instance, there are inspectors looking at the parts of the bridge that are underwater mm -hmm. in the Seekonk River. Transportation officials have said they expect those reports by early March. Then they have a big decision to make. It sounds like, though, Tim, the decision to close the bridge, the westbound side of it, was the right one. Oh, no doubt. I mean, some potentially scary outcomes if they hadn't uh, done that, according to this engineering report. Mm, a lot of scary stuff. All right, Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks so much. Thank you. Mike and Shannon, the 45-page draft report explores different options for the Washington Bridge, but ultimately concludes the state will need to replace either its superstructure, the main part of the bridge, or the entire thing. A draft report by VN engineers obtained by Target 12 dated Wednesday offers a stark assessment of the westbound Washington Bridge after intensive inspections since its abrupt closure December 11th. Engineers write, to fully eliminate these risks and improve inspection, maintenance, and repair access would require the demolition and replacement of the superstructure and potentially a full bridge replacement. The draft report also states that if the bridge had not been closed to vehicle traffic and additional supports added, there is the potential for elements of the superstructure to fall onto Gano Street or to fall into the river and damage the shared foundations of the I-195 eastbound bridge. The engineers also dismissed the possibility of using sister beams instead of a full replacement, calling that type of repair not a viable option. The report includes inspection images showing cracks on beams, significant erosion, and other damage throughout. A spokesperson for Governor Dan McKee tells us Governor McKee and Director Alvidi have repeatedly stated that no decision concerning the Washington Bridge would be made until all final reports were received and evaluated. In all, there are seven engineering firms doing an assessment of the Washington Bridge. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.